Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Rush Limbaugh finds skeleton in media's closet, publicly exposes it to help Trump. Rush Limbaugh dropped the hammer on the media industrial complex on his show yesterday. The Mueller report came out and the media took a huge hit. After two years of non-stop Trump is guilty of the worst kind of crimes, the media got humiliated when it all turned out to be bogus. The ratings crashed for the conspiracy-minded media, they will not recover. While Fox has seen their ratings skyrocket, which is what happens when you are consistently right. But the media wasn't done, as Rush shamefully recounts. From the Daily Wire After a couple of weeks of no collusion and nothing from Mueller's camp pushing back on Barr's summary, Suddenly the New York Times and the Washington Post both report that unnamed sources say that some in Mueller's camp feel that Barr's summary downplayed the findings in the report. This development, said Rush, was totally predictable, in fact, he notes, he did predict it. They're making it too easy. They're making it look like it's not hard to do, Limbaugh said to start off this segment. I predict that they're gonna do something, and they do it. This New York Times story that Mueller's team is not happy with the way Barr is representing their summary. It's all a crock, folks. It's secondary and tertiary sources. It's not even people that are on Mueller's team that are doing the so-called leaking. I predicted this the day after the report was released, and especially when the Democrats started complaining that the bar summary was incomplete, we need to see the whole thing," Rush continued. I asked the simple question, if Barr's lying about it, why aren't Mueller and his people going public with the fact that Barr's lying about what's in the report? Guess what? That's what the New York Times and CNN are trying to do today. And the Washington Post. They're trying to make it look like Mueller's team is upset with the way Barr is presenting his summary and there's more damaging stuff in there than what Barr has alluded to. Limbaugh then points out what he says is the glaring problem with the Times report, the sources are not members of Mueller's team. These are associates of members of Mueller's team. In other words, it's not Mueller, and it's not Weissman, and it's not Struck Smirk or any of the other actual members of Mueller's team. These are like friends of Comey, you know, from Bible study that are out leaking. It's so utterly predictable. Limbaugh then provides some of his trademark analysis of the Times bombshell report, starting with the headline, Some on Mueller's team say report was more damaging than Barr revealed. No. That's not what's in this story, said Limbaugh. What's in this story is associates, two people. In fact, if you read the New York Times 1,500-word bombshell report on this, you know what you'll see? Two sentences, 1,500 words. Two sentences about what their anonymous sources claim. And here are the two sentences. You ready? Some of Robert S. Mueller 3s, what's this Robert Mueller 3? C, anything to elevate the status of these participants. Some of Robert S. Mueller 3s investigators have told associates that Attorney General William P. Barr failed to adequately portray the findings of their inquiry and that they were more troubling for President Trump than Mr. Barr indicated, according to anonymous and probably made up, government officials and others familiar with their simmering frustrations. The officials and others interviewed declined to flesh out why some of the special counsel's investigators viewed their findings as potentially more damaging dash so we don't know why they think it's more damaging than what Mueller has said. They just are leaking that it is. Dash although the report is believed to examine Mr. Trump's efforts to thwart the investigation. Aha! So they're going to zero in here on Trump's obstruction. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.